Alrighty, as I'm going through this, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of different conics that we've studied, and we've completed the square on lots of them to figure out what different types of shapes are. So, um, I can oftentimes look at a, uh, an equation and figure out what kind of conic it is. So, the first thing I'm going to do is look for ones that I think are parabolas. Parabolas only have one x squared term, or sorry, one squared term. Could have either an x squared or, or a y squared. For example, this has an x squared and a y squared. Boom, not a parabola. So, as I look through this, well, this one only has an x squared. So, I'll label that a parabola. And then the other one that only has an x squared is g. I'll label that a parabola as well. Um, now I need to go through and I'll I'll identify my hyperbolas. So, a hyperbola is going to have both an x squared and a y squared. One of them is going to be positive and the other is going to be negative. So you can see b is a hyperbola. You can see that c, since these are both positive, is not going to be a hyperbola. So this is a hyperbola. Scroll down, let's see. I got a positive x squared and negative y squared. Boom! That one's got to be a hyperbola as well. And I believe that's it. Oh, no, D. Let everyone look at D. So D has a positive and a negative. So it is also a hyperbola. Now, um, the last two, uh, I'm going to do C first. Um, the next one's actually a little bit tricky. Um, I see C. See an x squared, a y squared, both positive, and they're different. So therefore, I know that this is going to be an ellipse. Now, the last one, you may say, oh, it's an ellipse, they're both positive, good to go. But, notice, I've got a 4 and a 4. So when I go through all of that long process of completing the square, when I get, you know, x minus something squared over plus y minus something squared equals 1. And that's over something. So this guy, that box, and that box. Well, since I've got a 4 here and a 4 here, whenever I divide by whatever I divided by to get this 1 over here, this number and this number are going to be the same. Which means that um, I actually get a circle. That's all.